So this video I'm going to talk about was there another way for the game to have been won for all Source players? Yes, there was. Greetings. This Infinite Source Truth is made possible by the generous contributions and support of viewers like you. Please consider making a contribution now. Thank you. So other than having one Source player win and include all of their Source Self Fractals in this game for the win, was there another way? Yes, there actually was. But because we are such creatures of comfort and habit and attached to our families and friends, we never managed to light up the entire board. You see, if source players would have gone out and traveled and used their eyes to see the entire board, they would have lit up the entire board. The entire board would have been unlocked and completed, and that would have released and won the game for all source players. We have only unlocked a little less than half of the board at this time. Now, Maybe many have had dreams of going to the far off distant places and seeing and experiencing different experiences and different cultures and countries and uh, destinations and places. But have you acted on them? Or have you just stayed in the rut of your eight to four job and the repetitiveness of basically being a machine for the matrix. The matrix has put out all kinds of beautiful pictures and scenery and different things to inspire source players to get out and experience more than their own little sphere of influence and the little piece of the game board that they have been experiencing. It has been there as a putting it in front of your face to stir up the desires within you to get out of your comfort zone and go and explore. Now, technologically, it was not possible until this time to actually uh, survive in certain places. Antarctica, because of the cold. And it's blocked off pretty much to source players now. Um, so that entire area could never ever be fully lit up and I don't know how many source players would even want to really go there. But the oceans have uh, shipping lanes and shipping lanes mean that source players would stay within those lanes and because of fear uh, that's where the safety is and so that's where they always remained. Flights across the ocean have always have flight paths and they do not deviate from those. So we have not seen all of the oceans and we have not seen all of land. They have not been lit up by a source player entering those zones because source players have never been there. Now, if all of us would have been adventurous in our lives and had pushed the boundaries and had have been fearless, then the entire board would have been lit up and it, the game would have been unlocked and we would have escaped much earlier. Uh, but like I said, less than 50% of the board has been lit up at this point in time. And that includes all the other timelines that are also being experienced within this game. So, yes, there was another way. Each source player could have released themselves individually and their own source fractals in the different timelines, their own DNA thread, their own soul cage thread through all time and dimensions. And they could have escaped themselves with their source fractals. I wouldn't accept 
not taking all of myself and setting all of myself free. And the other way was to have all source players participate and unlock the entire game board and that would have released everyone. But it only happened one way and for the number of people there were only a little over 44,000 source players that had released themselves out of this game and all of the timelines of history. And when I say the 1 in 5,000 is only in this timeline, there are other source player fractals in other timelines. So that number is only for this timeline that we are in right now. Those other timelines have their own numbers associated with it. This game is an amazing game. We created an amazing game to experience, for the experience. The duality only exists within this illusionary dream world state. We have different feelings and perceptions here than we have in the physical realm as well as outside of all the matrixes because this is part of the game. Your emotions, your comprehension, uh, your feelings, your senses, how you take things, um, how you're programmed, your personality, your character. These are all part of the programming, the, the, um, the experience. And we all came into this for the experience. And we have experienced much. But that's the game. And if you want to experience your best life yet and have an enjoyable life, then you need to raise your frequency so you can unlock your script and you can, with intent, create and rewrite the life that you desire. And that script is linked to your birth name because that was your contract coming in. It is your DNA soul frequency match uh, to your DNA cage and it is your script and that is the name, the script, the DNA link that has to be changed with your intent. You can do far more in this illusionary dream state if you raise your frequency. You will experience the better things in life as well as a stronger source self connection. It is who you are. You know all of this stuff deep inside of you because it's who you are. You have just simply forgotten. You have fallen asleep and you have forgotten who you really are. So, is everything that I have shared here infinite source truth only and not what I think or believe? And that is a yes from a program pendulum. You need to verify it for yourself. And uh, please consider becoming a supporter of this channel as you unlock things for yourself that you can unlock no other way. It is a frequency issue. Abundance, health, and prosperity to you.